Hello, my name is Lisa. I'm doing a little video to show um, my technique or mechanism for doing three-handed chain plying balls. Um, I really wanted to use a, a plying ball because I like walking out of the house with a plying ball when I'm busy plying and I wanted to get better at chain plying. What I was doing before this little setup was letting my spindle bounce around on the floor while I created the chain plying ball and I wasn't very happy with that because I thought it might eventually damage the hook. So what I'm doing now is I have my plying ball held tightly in one hand, um, get those courses wrapped tightly around it, have the um, loop of the yarn held open with, my, with the same hand. I'm going to pick it up again open it up again, put it on my thumb, and get the other yarn through it. This is really good for dealing with yarns that maybe aren't quite so even, so you can pull the new loop through the old one by holding it open with your thumb. Meanwhile, I'm pulling off the spindle either by the side or from the bottom. I would rather have something that rotated a little bit more freely, but this is good enough. The, a little longer string might, con might uh, be good enough that you didn't even need something that freely rotated. When it gets long enough, when I get a good wingspan, I butterfly onto my hand, and then when it gets close enough that I can wind new courses on the plying ball tightly, I do so. So that gives me a long chain without a lot of loops and loop transitions. I'll do one more, holding the loop open with my thumb or my fingers, pulling the new loop through, letting the spindle rotate and pulling the yarn off of it, getting a good wingspan of chain and then holding the single in my hand while I butterfly on to create a new course around the flying ball. So probably when I get better at this I won't need the three hands and I can do this all without any extra setup but for now this is working for me.